So in the last video, you learned how to add an item for sale. Now I'm going to show you how to add an item that needs to be on auction. So what we're going to do is, is that we will scroll to products and we will go all products. Okay. Now this is, here is the item that we added for sale uh, in the previous video. Now we're just going to go add new item and for uh, the video tutorial, I'm going to be using again an item of take a lot, which I've chosen this ver this inverter. I have uh, pre-downloaded the images for us already just to save time. So again, the same thing is what we're going to do. We're going to copy the title. We're going to move it across. So the setup of the, the, the product is actually going to be the same as an item that's for sale. Right, there's just a little bit of uh, where it comes to the add in the pricing. That is where it's going to uh, differ a little bit. So, however, configuring the item to look like an item for sale is exactly the same. So that's why I'm just going a little bit faster on this one. So, okay, so this bottom section here is for the long description, which is at the top. While I was just, uh, pre, uh, speaking to you regarding the products, I let you, uh, I, you probably saw, but I put the title and I put the focus keyword in and I put the meta description in. So now we're just gonna go and get the short description here. We'll add the short description in. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to the uh, month, uh, the Margate, uh, Margate one so that you can see the difference. So we put it under the Margate online auction Okay, what we're going to do is, is we're going to now go and add the images because we've got, we've got the title, we've got the long description, and we have got the short description. Now, let's just add the images again. So we're going to go to photo gallery, select files, we're going to upload them. a little bit longer than normal okay and then we're just going to go add to gallery now i'm just going to reorganize these just put it like that just like that and then i'm going to erase this one and i'm going to add that one as the product image so that's the main image that they're going to see and then uh, what, the, what i've done is is i've let them see the uh, I'm just waiting for that image to load. But the image, the second image and the, at the bottom here, I've let them see the, the functions that the inverter has and then the height. So let's just add this image again. There might have been a bit of a system glitch. Okay, so while that does its thing, there we go. All right, so, so now what I like to do is, is I like to publish it so that we know that all the information we've added is saved. Okay, and then you we can view the item, which as you can see, it's exactly the same as the other one, right? So now what we're gonna do is, is that we are going to just come down here and you see product data. Now we are going to change this one to auction. And then all the items, can you see all of this changes? So if we go back to simple product, it just had regular price, sale price. Now we're gonna select auction, now you've got this. So now we've got condition. Is it new or is it second hand? So we know it's new. Uh, is it uh, normal or reverse? We're just going to go normal. Okay. Starting price. So now, according to this, this says it's 7,000 Rand on sale. Or normal price is 7,000 Rand. And it's on sale for three and a half. Okay. So what we'll do is, is that let's say the starting price, we want the starting price to be at, let's say, 3,000. The bid increments, we want them to be 200, because obviously it's an inverter, it's an expensive item, we don't want someone to bid 20 Rand on it. The reserve price, we need to make sure that this client gets 4,000 Rand minimum. Okay, however, if they want to buy now, 
So where so this function is is that if I need it, I can't wait for this auction. Then I want to buy now, so I'll put it at the regular price of seven thousand, and then I know that I'm definitely buying the the item. It will actually stop the auction, right, on that item and just allow me to buy it. Okay, so now the auction dates. So now we can select here. We click on this little calendar. Sorry, we'll select the date to go tomorrow. And then the hour, so we want it to start at, say, 7 in the morning. And you can put the minutes if you want. So let's just say a hop of 7. Just like that. And then click Done. Okay? And then we want it to end, let's say, on the 30th at 6, uh, 6 p.m. Just like that. And you're going to hit Done. Right? That's it. Now, Extend Auction on Bid. So now what that means, that's the anti-sniper tool. So now, if you want, uh, uh, you can add, you as you say, I mean, 120 seconds is two minutes. So if you want to make it uh, 240, that'll be four minutes. So now anyone that bids within the last 30 seconds, right? Um, uh, sorry, in the last seconds. Okay, sorry, made a mistake. Extend Auction 4 four minutes but if anybody bids in the last 30 seconds right then the auction will uh, uh, automatically change it to be uh, uh, sorry the auction will automatically add another four minutes on to the item okay sorry to the auction all right so it stops at anti-sniper if you want it to be 15 seconds you put it to 15 if you wanted to make it uh, extend it to like a longer period of time you make it 380 now Look, it says in seconds, so you can't. If you put one there, or an, in your mind thinking it's one minute, the system's going to see it as one second. All right. So remember, it's got to be 60, 60 for one minute, one twenty for two minutes, and go on like that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit publish here, right? Sorry, update, because we've already published it. We're going to hit update. So now, if we click here. The layout is possibly going to change a bit because the auction has a bit of a different layout. No, it doesn't. Starting bid is at 3,000. Okay, but the auction hasn't started yet, as you can see, so no one can place a bid. So now what we're going to do is, is now we're going to say that the auction is going to start now. Okay, and we're going to click Update. Starting bid. There we go. There is your auction history there. Auction started. There is your description. Right? And then all the functions, they're not appearing at the moment, but they will be appearing the next time that you uh, want to, uh, what's it called, when you want to add the auction, because I believe we had to do a different category. So I need to add it to this one here move it here sorry about this and we reload it there we go because the auctions have to be assigned to a category the the, the design layout has got to be assigned to a category because it's completely different to the uh, online store so as you can see now starting bid is at 3000 this is the short description we've got the condition is new Time left is one week, five days, 10 hours, nine minutes, and 27 seconds. There is our bid here. So now uh, that is our current. I can bid that if I wanted and go bid. Then whoever's on the system will have a little notification that comes up that says uh, Darren has bid or an outbid you. And as you can see, it's already jumped to 3,200 obviously it's jumping in increments now it won't allow me to buy it won't allow me to bid again because i am currently winning the bid sorry winning the auction all right but there's one thing that i was brought to our attention in our group chat that it doesn't show the reserve price now unfortunately the woocommerce plugin doesn't automatically show the reserve price so what we have to do is we need to scroll down here and we've put the reserve, uh, the reserve is 4,000, okay? So what we need to do is we need to actually add it to the 
to the short description. 4,000 Rand. We'll make that bold, just like that. We're going to go update. That is how you can show people how the reserve, uh, well, sorry, what the price of the reserve, uh, sorry, the price of the reserve price is. And there you go. So it will show there. Unfortunately, this system doesn't allow it, doesn't do it automatically, which is a bit of a glitch. But unfortunately, we can't do anything with that. That's coming from the author. So the workaround is that you have to actually type it in the short description, which is there. All right. And that is how you add an item to your auction.